Yes, Christabel. Uh, how was that going? Yes, we uh, let's have a tame roll to see how well the spa business is going. And things like that with, uh, your menu. Don't get uh, trampled by the big bullock that they left with you. To <laughs> get his. Hey, it is a awesome result. Check. In. Cool. So, once situated, you knock it out of the park. That's right. So, business is kind of good, I imagine. Word will probably be spreading around about your uh, services for all sorts of um, uh, interesting creatures that the residents of Tourmaline have. Um, you'll certainly also notice that there's a, 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 uh, uh, a big um, uh, focus on uh, hunting animals at the moment, uh, dogs, Various sorts of strange cat and things like that that are very popular with the um, uh, the people of the city. I wonder what they hunt Let's with see. them. Weasel cats, what I'm calling it. cat weasels. We can, have, we can have weasel cats if you want. One of the preparation things I haven't done is write a good list of elf names, and then I found a, a folk band's name generator. I'm using that. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, I've just lost. There was, I remember there was one that was perfect, and I, and I just lost it. So, uh, Spring Lightning, your business partner. Uh, wow. Uh, is um, uh, as I said, an elf. Um, uh, kind of slumming it out on the outskirts of the city uh, with you and your little. Is this a man or a woman? Oh, he's a he's a man. Because uh, okay. he has a man bun and uh, <laughs> uh, what's the word? Um, uh, a bit of an affectation for uh, uh, Forester clothing. Okay. So things are looking up though with awesome uh, rep with your awesome reputation for uh, treating the animals of the city uh, well. So, Shining Star, trying to get in the... Um, As uh, usual, failing badly the at the spy tour. business. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Um, let's have that forgery roll, see if you can uh, impress them with a... Um, uh, being there on the spot when they needed somebody to produce... Consistently with this effort throughout the history of this character, despite a remarkable ability score, mm -hmm. I roll a feeble oh, result. Okay. Right. I knew you should have concentrated on your music career. Well, as I say, the numbers do favor what I have been trying to do. The dice mm -hmm. just really want to dodge away from it every time. Um. So, you know that feeling when you are you get your homework handed back to you with red pen and learning? Yeah. Um, you, got, uh, you got an in with um, uh, uh, but uh, failed to impress him. With your uh, with forging skill. skills, man, um, he's going to so regret that when I forge something really, really, really heinous later. Indeed. Um, obviously, being asked to forge things might give you a bit of insight into the sorts of schemes he has going on, but I don't know exactly what that looks like at the moment. So let's go. Uh, <laughs> Rod, do you want to give me an augury roll for Christabel to see how she's been? Uh, uh, what she feels is coming in the wind during this period. I do not want. You do not want to. However, <laughs> however I will. Anyway. I, I forget what the. I think it's of knowledge. Skill is it's knowledge, right? Yeah. Well, that's not terrible, but uh, poor. Is the result oh. I got. So we're not going too meta. So 
fails or what more than he succeeds at what you want him to not have the GM make you wrong and make an all um so uh yes you've been having dreams about a white stack uh running through forest yes so robbie uh girl um getting out into nature uh getting uh high on the wonderful um local uh psychotropic drugs um connecting to the universal tell me more about her religious views and what she's hoping to well i i mean part of her idea is that uh i've been approached by devotees of the ever-changing one who seem mm -hmm. quite malevolent uh and uh, up to no good and um i mean i'm i'm vaguely familiar with that belief system because that's mm -hmm. the, the kind of uh, a kind of small percentage of wolflings that have yeah. been drawn to that but i mean get, given given that and and also just given the the tumult uh mm -hmm. i just feel like it is time to get centered a little bit and so uh i think getting and and also just the problems of the city that have been mm -hmm. Uh, so vexing for her that she's like feeling like, okay, remove myself a little bit, get myself a little bit of time to get centered. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll call this a devotion roll. I guess it's a guidance roll, but probably going to roll forward into when you get a wonderful success, it'll probably roll forward into future roles she has to make now that she's all centered and calm and peaceful, not worrying about everyone screaming when she walks into the room. So, go ahead, give me a devotion. Okay. Uh, so I got a great result. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like a uh, uh, girl is feeling uh, better about herself, her connection to the cosmic unity and things like that. Uh, perhaps tell me more about this. Is it a uh, you said meditation was involved. Is that also you know, aside from just kind of some type of mental sanity that she's she's looking forward, I, I, I guess she would be. Um, I mean, I, I guess if I'm if I'm feeling particularly in tune for something, I, I might try to push that into like a guidance role to, to kind of see, OK, here in this new land now. I'm, I'm starting to feel more myself and mm -hmm. to try to get a sense uh, now that I've uh, turned another page, having kind of put Smith City behind me. Where where should I be focusing my uh, my uh, energies? Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Um, so, uh, give me a moment to think about that, and we will come back to it. But yes, that's a very sensible thing. That we can describe how feelings and visions of from the spiritual universe come through to you. Um, Right. Uh, wrong. Is Shining Star also pursuing um, her music and, ent and wants to make an entertaining role, or did you have something that that was? Key, oh key yeah, yeah. I think I'm definitely going to do an entertain. I have written quite a few songs in the course mm -hmm. of our adventures, and uh, I wouldn't mind performing them as well as a few old favorites. Um, wouldn't mind improvising at some point but right now entertain not compose mm -hmm. okay. so we're up for that yeah okay you guys this is just awful i am pathetic I mean, wow, yeah. tough crowd here in terms. Well, they've heard it all, Ron. You know. Well, I'm disappointed. I am deprotagonized, but I will just call it a <laughs> yeah. string of hard luck, and it's time to write. Yeah, time to write a new song, an Alice's Restaurant style song of all the travails that have not gone well. So my my feeling is perhaps you've tried all these songs you were playing back over in Smith City 
many of which went down well with the hill folk people. Uh, and I guess people assume that the foresters, of which are many here, their actual country that they still hold is, is over to the east, but the, the Elven Empire has encroached on their land. But, uh, well, everyone assumes they're pretty much the same as the hill folk. I guess they have different tastes in music and they don't go the, the same. They, they're like, tunes they're and like topics Porter. Together. I guess so. I'm mixing my hill folks and foresters. Anyway, so, yes, the foresters are not uh, as, as impressed with your music as the hill folk were. All right, well, I'll just have to work on this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, not that they are the only people uh, around. So, um, if you're happy with that, if you want to have just alienated elves instead, you can also do that. I don't mind. No, no, I think <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and alienate the foresters first. Right. Uh, okay. Um, Christabel. Yep. And to some extent, girl, because you've uh, you you now both have control as a uh, as a spell skill. Oh uh, yeah. I, so I don't mind that. I don't. I I don't think niche protection needs to be a big thing in this game. But if it, if it was a problem, we can talk about it. But um. Uh, I, I personally have no problem with everybody wanting to summon animals and get an animal's heads and do, do a bit of that thinking they're very interested. Um, and, uh, and if I throw more foresters in, foresters also summon an, uh, animals to come and help them. Oh, okay. So, girl, get ready for being a ranger to actually be useful again. Uh, <laughs> Has Christabel been doing anything with her magic? Uh, um, control skill. So, I actually thought about this back when uh, we were going to go on an island adventure, but then didn't. Um, but I sort of contextualize. I I figured out a way to contextualize what what that's about that makes sense. To me, which is that it's sort of a a tra no, she hasn't been doing it. It's like this thing. It's like a trance she goes into sometimes mm -hmm. when she stares deeply into an animal's eyes and feels a dim a dim impulse driving her to somehow reach out. Mm -hmm. That's okay. happened to her occasionally over the last. Basically, I'm framing it. I'm kind of framing it uh, so that uh, what am I trying to say? She's not like casting a spell or whatever. Okay. It all has to do with the uh, much discussed capriciousness of the dice, right? I, like I, I can't. I can't work with the idea that she sits there and goes alakazam and nothing mm -hmm. happens. Like that doesn't make sense to me. So I'm okay. I'm framing the I'm it's framing the intentionality farther down the road from the dice mm -hmm. in terms of what she's doing. Fair enough. Um, that's uh, fine. and it sounds like she's been too busy uh, with her actual uh, washing yes. and treating and, and I, treating animals to be gazing I, into their eyes. Uh, yeah, uh, I it's, have some a more business. Not a. Uh, yeah. I do have some more details to suggest. Yeah, uh, which is uh, that the the business is called uh, Relax a Cat, which yeah, that sounds right. elves find charmingly whimsical in a human way. Oh, those wacky humans! Uh, and I think it's like kind of in a. Uh, Funky little human neighborhood that elves find charmingly bohemian. I'm sure they do, and I'm sure the many uh, elven dowagers bringing their cats to be washed and yeah, yeah. Uh, 
presumably dried as well. You'd assume so. <laughs> um, and and apparently uh, not clawing the person doing it to death. So that's a bonus. Right, right. So relax the cat. Um, and I'm sure uh, Spring Lightning has all the contacts with uh, rich el elven animal lovers to keep bringing people through the door. I rather suspect that's mainly what he does rather than actually doing any of the work. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. We might have met dog walking. He seems like a... a He might, uh, he might be also. I don't know if this is anything that anyone uh, has thought of, but he might also be part of uh, one of girls' tripping friends. <laughs> he does seem to match, doesn't he? That seems like it might be a thing. 